This is the brand new iOS 10. And iOS 10 comes with a lot of new features, actually hundreds of brand new features. So hello everyone and welcome to the Zen of Tech, I'm Daniel. And in this video, I'll be covering my top 30, this is three, but yeah, my top 30 features that I believe to be the most impressive ones, the most epic ones. Enjoy. Okay, so number one, we have the brand new redesigned control center. So here, all the apps, all the toggles actually are now larger and all the apps in the bottom bar now support 3D touch, including the flashlight icon from which you can actually choose low intensity, medium intensity, high intensity. This is actually pretty useful. Number two, also in the control center, if you swipe to the left, you get taken to this brand new music interface from which you can change the music, the source, the volume and more. Number three, we have raise to weight. So if your iPhone is sitting flat on the table, you can simply lift it and the screen will turn on and it will show you any missed notifications you had without you having to press the home button or the side button. Number four, this is definitely my favorite one, widgets. So if you go left from the home screen or the lock screen or the notification panel, you actually get taken to this brand new widget interface and here you can add both first party and third party widgets. So you can have the weather, you can have the news, basically just like we have on Android. We can now finally have widget cards on iOS. This is awesome. What do you guys think about finally having widgets on iOS? Number five, finally improved 3D touch support for the iPhone success. So now if you 3D touch on certain apps, you can actually see their widget as well, not just the quick launch options and you can even have photos and even actual video playing inside this 3d touch widgets so yeah i'll definitely start using 3d touch way more often number six a redesigned music app finally so yeah the music app has now been redesigned and it's much much more simplistic than before all text and menus all of them are now larger the first tab is your library and here you can select whatever you want to have like music videos complications genres and so on so yeah the entire music interface is much much more simplistic and we finally have that new plus button to finally add music to our collection. Number seven, what happens if you have a lot of notifications? Well, up until now, you actually had to clear all of them individually, but now with iOS 10 and the iPhone success, you can actually use 3 Touch to clear all notifications in an instance. Number eight, we have the HomeKit app. So we now have a dedicated HomeKit app on the iPhone, the iPad, and even the Apple Watch. And with this app, you can add all of your smart appliances like smart lights, smart outlets, your smart fridge, or your smart door, or whatever smart appliances or things you have in your home. You can add them to this app. You can even have different rooms. And yeah, you can pretty much control everything from this app instead of having to use separate apps for each individual smart appliance. Pretty awesome. Number nine, Siri now has a new voice. So on Mac OS, we have this voice. Hi, it's me. Which is completely different than the one on iOS, but on iOS, this one has been updated a bit as well. And she sounds like this. That may be beyond my abilities at the moment. Not a huge improvement, but she definitely sounds more human-like now. Number 10, in the email app, you now have a new button here. It's called the filter all button, and you can basically filter emails based on keywords, on flags, and more. Number 11, the Photos app got some pretty serious improvements. Like now you can actually search for keywords. You can now search for different objects, pizza, dogs, white horse, and so on. Computer vision has been finally integrated into the Photos app. This is, by the way, done locally, not in the cloud. Number 12, also in terms of the Photos app, it can now recognize different faces and group them in different albums based on your friends' names. Pretty cool. Number 13, you can actually have memories inside a Photos app. So small videos that are created automatically, you don't have to do anything. You can change the length, you can change the music tone. Everything is done automatically. Number 14, this is definitely my second favorite one. Copy paste is now universal. So this means that you can actually copy paste between your iPhone, your iPad, and your Mac. This is, this is huge. What do you guys think about this? Definitely one of my favorite features yet. Number 15, the Notes app now allows sharing. So you can, if you have a note that you want to share with a different person or even with multiple people, you can now do that by simply pressing this button and then sending that link to the people you want to share this note with. Number 16, the camera app now has a brand new launching method in the lock screen. So you can swipe to the left and that's basically how you access the camera now. Definitely much quicker than swiping up like we had before. Number 17, this is definitely the third biggest change, the stock apps are now uninstallable. So yeah, for example, if you have a couple of stock apps that you've never used, like the Stocks app, you can now uninstall it completely. Number 18, this is huge. So also in terms of those stock apps being uninstallable, this means that updates will now be done via the App Store instead of you having to wait for a completely new 
big iOS update. So this is huge for apps like Apple Music, which are fairly new apps and do need constant updates and changes based on the user feedback. So now instead of you having to wait for a big update to Apple Music, which will most likely come in iOS 10.1, it can now be done at any point in time over the App Store. This is an amazingly useful improvement. Number 19, we have the brand new redesigned messages app. So the first big feature is emojification. So it automatically recognizes emojis based on the text you wrote. So for example, if I write, I love homemade pizza, I cannot replace love, home and pizza with emojis without me having to actually look and find those emojis separately. Number 20, also in the messages app, you can now send custom bubbles. So you can have something like invisible ink and then have that person you're sending the message to you have to swipe that ink to see the, the actual message. Then you can also have bigger or smaller bubbles and different effects. Number 21, also in the messages app, you can actually have full screen effects. You can have effects like disco, explosions, confetti, and so on, happy new year, and so on. And if you have a conversation with multiple people, every single one of those people in the conversation will see that effect. 22, the lock screen notifications have been improved. Now, I've already mentioned this before, but what I haven't mentioned was actually the ability to instantly reply to messages, for example, directly from the home screen without you having to even unlock the phone. Next up, in the keyboard app, you can now type between two different languages without you having to even switch between keyboards. Definitely useful, especially for me. 24, this, this is huge. Siri is now open source, which means that any developer, any developer can now integrate Siri into their apps. So for example, if Uber is going to support Siri, which it most likely will, you can simply say, hey Siri, find me an Uber and so on. Imagine this in almost all the apps. How cool would that be? Number 25, we have iMessage apps. So same as with Siri, iMessage is also open to developers, which means that developers can actually integrate third-party apps inside iMessage. So you can have apps like PayPal to send money, or Apple Music to send a specific song, or different emojis and emoticons and GIFs. So yeah, the possibilities are now endless. 26, the clock app has been redesigned. We now have this much darker look, and we also have this new function called bedtime alarm. Now, unfortunately, it's pretty glitched right now, but you can set when you have to wake up and the number of hours you wanna sleep, and it will send you a notification when you have to go to bed to achieve that number of slept hours. Interesting, but I mean, they could have just updated the regular alarm clock with notifications, so... Yeah. Number 27, we have Apple Music. This is this is awesome. Apple Music automatic downloads. So if you go to settings, Apple Music, you can actually enable this. So every single song that you add to the Apple Music library will be instantly downloaded to your iPhone. Number 28, we finally have different and faster animations. So for example, when you open up an app, we have different animations now, and all the animations are now a lot faster, including, again, when it comes to launching an app and even putting your iPhone to sleep. Number 29, pretty huge one as well. Finally, in Apple Music, you can change the playback source. So just like in Spotify, if you have multiple devices with Apple Music, you can change which device Apple Music can be played on. And finally, the last one, number 30, unfortunately this one isn't here yet, but it's going to be here in the final release, and that's raw image support. So when you take a photo, I'm guessing this will be in the settings app, you will be able to choose if you want to save that image as JPEG, RAW, or RAW plus JPEG. And this is huge, especially for photographers, because yeah, if you have a RAW image, it's not compressed, so you can then edit it in Photoshop further. Really awesome. And there you go, these were my top 30 iOS 10 features. Yeah, iOS 10 comes with a lot of new features, but those 30, in my opinion, those were the most epic ones, the most impressive ones, definitely the most interesting ones. Well, let me know in the comment section down below which feature was your favorite one, or features if you have more than one. Also, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, this one more videos covering iOS 10 and also more epic tech videos. Also feel free to follow me on Twitter at Zone of Tech and you can ask me any tech related questions there. Oh and also don't forget to turn on notifications on my channel on both desktop and mobile on mobile by simply tapping on that bell icon next to my channel so that you're notified as soon as I upload a brand new epic video. Other than that this has been pretty much it so thank you for watching this video. I'm Daniel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Zone of Tech signing out. Cheers.